kids, welcome to Building on the Rock. Today, we're going to be covering the end of Absalom and the tragedy that it was. Now, I know what you may be thinking when I say that, that Absalom was a bad person, and maybe he was. Maybe he was a little too power hungry, tried to overthrow his father, killed his brother, but that is not the point of this story. We'll be getting into that in a minute. We're going to be reading from 2 Samuel chapter 18, verses 1 through 18. David brought together the men who were with him. He appointed commanders of thousands over some of them. He appointed commanders of hundreds over the others. Then David sent the troops out in three companies. One company was under the command of Joab, another under Joab's brother Abishai, the son of Zeruah. The last was under Ittai, the Gittite. The king told the troops, You can be sure that I myself will march out with you. But the men said, You must not march out. If we are forced to run away, our enemies won't care about us. Even if half of us die, they won't care. So it would be better for you to stay here in the city. Then you can send us help if we need it. The king said, I'll do what you think is best. So the king stood beside the city gates. The whole army marched down in companies of hundreds and companies of thousands. The king gave the order to Joab, Abishai, and Ittai. He commanded them, Be gentle with the young man Absalom. Do it for me. All the troops heard the king give the commanders that order about Absalom. David's army marched into the field to fight against Israel. The battle took place in the forest of Ephraim. There David's men won the battle over Israel's army. A huge number of men were wounded or killed that day. The number was 20,000. The fighting spread out over the whole countryside, but more men were killed in the forest that day than out in the open. Absalom happened to come across some of David's men. He was riding his mule. The mule went under the thick branches of a large oak tree. Absalom head, Absalom's head got caught in the tree. He was left hanging in the air. The mule he was riding kept on going. One of David's men saw what had happened. He told Joab, I saw Absalom hanging in an oak tree. Joab said to the man, What? You saw him? Why didn't you strike him down right there? Then I would have given you four ounces of silver and a soldier's belt. But the man replied, I wouldn't lift my hand to harm the king's son. I wouldn't do it even for 25 pounds of silver. We have heard the king's command to you and Abishai and Ittai. He said, Be careful not to hurt the young man Absalom. Do it for me. Suppose I had put my life in danger by killing him. The king would have found out about it. Nothing is hidden from him. And you wouldn't have stood up for me. Joab said, I'm not going to waste any more time on you. So he got three javelins. Then he went over and drove them into Absalom's heart. He did it while Absalom was still hanging there alive in the oak tree. Ten of the men who were carrying Joab's armor surrounded Absalom. They struck him down and killed him. Then Joab blew his trumpet. He ordered his troops to stop chasing Israel's army. Joab's men threw Absalom's body into a big pit in the forest. They covered his body with a large pile of rocks. While all that was going on, all of the Israelites ran back to their homes. Earlier in his life, Absalom had set up a pillar in the king's valley. He put it up as a monument to himself. He thought, I don't have a son to carry on the memory of my name. So he named the pillar after himself. It is still called Absalom's monument to this day. Now we're going to be getting to David's reaction to this in a bit next week. But for this, we need to get back to the question. Why is this a tragedy? Why is the death of Absalom something that should not be celebrated, even though he had done evil and had been doing wrong to David and to the kingdom? Well, that's simply the matter. He was not fighting. He was stuck in an oak tree. He wasn't defending himself. He wasn't attacking. He was helpless, and they executed him. There was nothing fair. There was nothing just. For if God treated us the same way, as we are evil and saw that we were helpless and struck us down not a single person would be standing for it is just what happened with Noah and the flood of the, over the land but because God shows us mercy we also should show mercy to those who cannot defend themselves to those who aren't out to get us and those who have hurt us 
probably will hurt us. It is not the easy choice not to kill Absalom. For in fact, Joab was the one who pleaded with David through cunning to get him back into the city. But his rage and anger and his eagerness to get this over with clouded him to what he, what he was truly doing. If you see someone stuck on the streets and can't walk, sure you could kick them. If they're evil and you know they've done evil, then yeah, you could kick them. I don't think anyone would blame you. But that's not how God works. And by proxy, that's not how we should work if we want to be like God. If we want to show the good that God has shown us to others, as we should, because without that good, we have nothing. Without that love, we have nothing. I hope you enjoyed this lesson today, and I'm going to show you how to build this nice oak tree. And uh, don't get your head stuck in it. Let's show you how to build this tree. Okay, to start, we're going to need two two by twos in nougat brown. Stacked on top of each other like so. Then you grab another one of the same color and same shape and a two by two light green with sloped upward angle. Attach the line green on one side and the two by two on the other. Now that you have that, you're going to help solidify these pieces through usage of a brown 2x3 so that it overlaps this. And now you got this more rigid edge here and this softer edge here. Once you have that, you're going to attach this 2x2 with round edges of the same dark brown on top of this piece and then attach this clear one by two brick here in this gap. This will help keep things stable in the future. Now, now we're going to finish off our usage of brown but not quite nugget by placing this two by three in dark brown like we have the same color here and the same color here over top of the clear piece connecting to the round brown piece. Now we're going to grab four pieces here, four simple pieces, a two by two, uh, one by two in this nice soft green, nice sand green, forgive me, and another one of the sand green and place on top of it these one by twos in a bright dark green on top of both of them. Just go like this and like this. Once you have those, you're going to attach them to this little lip here we put there. And finally, on top of that, attach your last 2x2 two two in nuggets. Now you got yourself a little brief branch there with leaves. And we're going to add a whole bunch of more greens on top, don't you worry. It'll become real blossoming. To start, we're going to grab a two by four of the bright green we placed on those slopes right here. Even an overhang, which we need to fill. We're going to fill that with another one of these slope pieces and another one of these uh, sand green pieces. You see how this is a two by two with a sloped bottom? Well, we're going to attach this here on top of the on top of the sloping edge and attach underneath. Now that you've got that there, we're going to solidify this through usage of a 2x2 two two plate. See how it's much thinner than these other pieces? That's important. Now we're going to grab another 2x2, two 2x4 two, two in green and two by three in light green, much like the slope pieces in this plate. You're going to attach the two by three right there and the two by four on top of it, leaving this untouched so that these are connected while not attached to this. 
then, sorry, the trees began to tip. We're going to attach this one by two of the same light green that's here and here and top of there. Now finally, we just have three more pieces. We're going to attach these two slope pieces like we have down there on the same side over here and then attach our final 2x3 of the light green that is here, here, and all over this bill, right there. And voila, you got yourself a nice little oak tree. I hope you enjoyed this build today, and I'll see you next week.